two women found themselves facing down the barrel of a gun Saturday morning on opposite sides of West Nashville. A community advocate says there were precautionary actions the city should have taken. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry has more on how the community is responding. Six in the morning on Saturday, a Vanderbilt University student was walking on a side street off of West End Avenue when police say Marquis Douglas placed a gun against her back and demanded money. She gave him the $70 in her pocket and he ran away. Three hours later, the suspect was in Richland Park, where an 89-year-old woman found herself with a gun to her side after shopping at a populated farmer's market. The woman didn't want to go on camera, but said when he pressed the gun against her and demanded money, she was more mad than frightened. She tells me she said, quote, why are you doing this? I'm 89 years old. As people walked by, Douglas ran away. A West Nashville community advocate says there were measures law enforcement should have taken to avoid a situation like this. Any public outing like that, especially if it's in a metro park, there should be some some kind of security that is provided. One nanny tells me at Richland Park she feels everyone looks out for each other. It's so important to look out for other kids too and just be a team together. So often I don't travel alone and if I do, she is within my eyesight at all times <laughs> or within arm's reach. But overall, I haven't had many safety concerns because I am always in a communal part and I feel that a lot of moms and nannies share that same moral code that I have. Meanwhile, other residents tell me it's a precautionary tale. Don't come by yourself. Don't come when, the, when it's dark. Look out. Be, don't have your headphones in, maybe. It's the buddy system. You should have someone with you because you don't know what state of mind an individual is in, especially if addiction or mental illness is involved. Safety first is what we preach. Marquis Douglas was booked and charged with attempted and aggravated robbery, gun theft, gun possession while committing a dangerous felony and evading arrest. His bond is currently set at $110,000. Bob.